Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is a video that I have been asked for so many times and it is my what's in my hospital bag. I'm going to do this video which is my personal hospital bag and then straight after this I'm going to be filming a second one for what's in baby girl's hospital bag. So I'll probably post this one first and then post his afterwards in quite short succession so you can see both and hopefully it helps. I'm sorry about the delay for those that have asked but I do find filming really hard when I have to fit it in around work and you know days where there's light <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna get started because I think this might be a long video otherwise so this oh if I can pick it up is my hospital bag now it's actually a holdall stroke sort of um case on wheels that i got from primark it looks like this and th it has um a handle that comes out here so i can wheel it along if i need to or it's most likely part that's going to be carrying all of this so it's really useful it's got like a little side pocket here and then a main pocket inside i've taken a few things out already just to make it a little bit easier to show you so i'm just gonna get started now i'm gonna start with what i'm hoping to wear for labor because i'm hoping for a water birth so it's probably not going to be very much if i'm honest <laughs> but i'm kind of prepared for every eventuality because obviously you don't know what's going to happen when you go to hospital uh could end up um you know monitored on a bed i could end up with an emergency c-section you just don't know do you so i've kind to prepare for every outcome but obviously the one thing I do want to do is have a water birth um now ideally I can't imagine I want loads of clothes on me so the one thing that I'm hoping to wear is this which is a nursing kind of cropped bra from the essential one um it has like lace around the outside which is quite nice quite pretty and I just thought it'd be really handy to wear this because I don't really want to have my boobs out just for the sake of it and then when baby girl is born obviously it has um a crossover part here so so you can easily get the boobs out for that first feed and things like that and skin to skin and this is just really pretty it's really comfortable and the essential one is great for quality so that ideally is what I would like to be wearing in the water but prior to that because I did find laboring on my feet helped a lot with Bill um, when I was giving birth to him um, I'll either be wearing a long black cami like this which is just a Primark one or I will be wearing an old t-shirt this is just a grey mall one that's like really old and baggy and I can just throw that on and off if I need to and obviously I have the um maternity bra underneath um so that is really what I'm thinking of wearing. I've not taken anything that's like super um, new or expensive. It's just all old stuff because we all know the deal by now. Labour's a messy business. Um, and then obviously once I have had him, I have a few things just to wear like around the hospital. If I do have to stay longer for whatever reason, I'm hoping to be discharged straight away, uh, depending on what time she's born, but we'll see. Um, the first thing I've got is this gorgeous nighty, which is very Victoria's Secret-esque, um, but again, it's from Primark. And it's just this, it's a blue stripe one. I'm sure they still have it in stock and it just says love on the pocket but I brought an oversized one and I just thought you know once I've had a shower and given birth it might be quite nice to just put this on and I'll feel like a little bit more put together and comfortable but there's still access you know if anybody needs to check me down there and it's buttoned up so I can feed her easily as well so that's one option depending on how warm it is and just what I want to want to wear really and then the other option i have are these pajamas which are also from the essential one and they are navy blue with little like uh dots on really with like a lace trim and they're easy access for breastfeeding obviously really really soft and comfortable and it has um a matching pair of pants obviously and you can wear these if you are pregnant or if you have just given birth and they're kind of like a maternity slash breastfeeding kind of duo um so i have two options there and they're nice and new and clean and comfortable and the lighting's gonna go crazy because it's sunny and rainy outside all in one go um but those are what i'm gonna wear afterwards just to keep myself comfortable um 
I also have the signature old towel. Um, this is just a grey one that we've got lying around and it's nice enough that I will get some comfort out of it and it smells like home but it's not going to get stained um, and look like it's been involved in like a murder scene or something like that. Uh, then other things I have in here, um, just for around the hospital really, I have some flip flops because hygiene you know, hospitals, like, particularly on the maternity ward, you've got women going in and out there, you know, water's breaking, blood, you name it, like, I'm sure it's all happened in there, so this is just to keep my feet clean, really, and, like, for walking around in. I swear that these were only about 90 pence from Primark. I brought them a about a month ago, so I had those ready. And then I also have, again, from Primark, some little slip-on slippers, um, just because I'm giving birth most likely end of April early May depending on whether or not she's late and I don't want like big heavy slippers because I think I might be a little bit too warm by then hopefully you never know with weather around here so I have those as well for walking around the hospital and then I have like underwear and stuff like that which I'm going to show you if I can find my other nursing bra which I found so I have two nursing bras as well as the one that I will be wearing in the pool um so obviously I won't really get much use out of that one but it's the most comfortable one I've got and I think it's fit for purpose the other one I have is this lovely cream one which is from H&M I got this in a set of two I have another blue one upstairs which I could throw in if I needed but I don't think I'll need it um so I have that one so I'll either wear that going home or like while I'm in the hospital and then I have this one which is from Bravado and um, this is more of a sporty style one it's really really comfortable actually I've been wearing this a lot throughout my pregnancy you have the option of having like molded cups so if you want to take these out you can do uh, but I kept them in just because you know a bit of nipple erection sometimes isn't appropriate so I kept those in and it's really comfortable and I'll either again wear that home or wear it while I'm there just depends on what I fancy at the time then obviously we're gonna have this awkward conversation about underwear but it's true what they say buy yourself some cheap and nasty knickers that you probably won't wear again because you will appreciate it I brought this pack uh, from Primark and it's a four pack of bikini ones for £2.50 and I brought them the size bigger than I normally am which would be extra large because this is 18 to 20 and I'm a 14 to 16 usually so um I bought these just because I do have some black undies like I'm knocking around in my drawer anyway but I like the ease of just having some in my bag that are all like packaged up ready to go and I don't need to worry about grabbing those last minute and then I've just got three pairs of socks as well um I actually don't like having hot feet so I've packed these just because it feels like everybody packs them I might fancy them at the time because sometimes you do get cold feet when you go into labor so I've got them if I need them then in terms of going home I will probably go into hospital wearing something similar to this so it might be like a, a plaid check shirt um, a long line vest and some maternity leggings with my Birkenstocks maybe um, so if that outfit is relatively clean and I still feel comfortable and confident in it I could wear that home but at the same time I have packed like some extras as well like this will probably come in and out of my bag up until the run up into her birth because it's my um selfish mother mother sweatshirt which is so comfortable and it just makes me feel kind of put together but comfortable at the same time and i can throw that on again over a vest like this and then i have also got a pair of old leggings these aren't maternity ones and i made that decision based on the fact that i will go in with a pair of maternity leggings on anyway um but last time i found that they were just too loose straight away that's not because I magically lose a load of weight when I give birth I'm not one of those perfect humans but I have a very very small waist and anything that isn't like fitted enough around my waist once I've given birth tends to just fall down and I don't want to be walking around tucking up my pants when I feel disgusting anyway so that's why I've got like the option of both because I can still get these on now they just fall down my tummy a little bit so I know that they will fit me and then the one thing I'm really excited that I've got 
is the Belly Bandit and I had the natural bamboo one because I want to be prepared for every eventuality and these are the ones that are recommended best if you do end up having a c-section and I am using this because my figure does matter to me it does I, I lost like three stone before I actually fell pregnant and I am you know my confidence matters to me so I'm going to be using this straight after birth provided that I don't feel really uncomfortable or silly wearing it but I'm sure I won't because they've got great reviews and and this will just be sucking me in and helping me get my figure back hopefully so that's why that's packed in there and then in terms of like clothes and everything that's kind of it so I'm gonna move on next to you know other essentials that are like toiletries and pads and things like that um and then I will go into any extras that aren't yet packed in my bag so first things first got to have them it's maternity pads i have two packs of these i'm pretty sure that these will be enough and um, where i'm giving birth like there's a town like right nearby and i'm sure there'll be like easy places to get supplies from in fact there's a sainsbury's really near the hospital so i'm not worried um but these are the boots maternity pads they are my favorite kind i've stocked up with a few more packs of these i think i've got about four four or five at home in our like medicine cabinet in the bathroom so i'm well prepared for those i would definitely recommend stocking up because there's nothing like running out like i did after i had bill and then having to like waddle over to boots or somewhere and get some new ones because it's just the last thing you want to go out for really isn't it so i have those and then i have two kind of like cosmetics bags and they're filled with different things so the first one I'll show you is this um now this has basically kind of motherhood related items in that aren't just for me in general in terms of like body care or anything like that and when I say that I've got like the main things in here are breast pads now my milk didn't really come in until about day three I think so I, I know I've packed way too many, but I'm one of those I'd rather have like too many than not enough. So I've got those. Um, and I also have this dream cream, which is the Lansano HPA Lan Lanolin uh, cream for sore and cracked nipples. This was a saviour for me last time. I ended up breastfeeding for 18 months in the end, and I didn't really ever have any problems. And I credit the early days to this. I think it's brilliant. You put it on before and after every feed, and it stops those nips getting chapped. And I really recommend it and then as well as those I have some paracetamol you do get given um, painkillers after birth anyway when you're in hospital they're very good at doing that but I've got some just in case you know busy ward and I'm starting to feel achy or uncomfortable then I have them to hand um, and then what else have I got I have my pregnant care breastfeeding supplements so there's kind of two different supplements that you get in a pack and I have those ready to take because obviously I'm looking to breastfeed and I want to get on my bits straight away. And then I also have some Arnica, which are just little tablets, which are a homeopathic remedy that's supposed to help with things like bruising. So I have those just in case. Another thing that I might consider taking with me is my Lachulose, which is a stool softener and the reason why i say this and it is tmi but i will be honest with you if you've not had a baby before sometimes not for every lady but sometimes your first poo after birth can be quite painful um you do uh, things do get a bit quite com like compacted in there and obviously all of your body's moved around you've already been like pushing anyway or you've undergone a c-section your body's trying to adjust itself and get back into position and sometimes that first poo can be hell mine was last time it made me cry so i might take that with me but to be honest with you i can probably take it as soon as i got home so it's not something that urgently needs to go in my bag and then finally is this kind of like beauty and cosmetics and you know what i'm not actually taking that much makeup but i will try and go through all of this like one by one so you can see exactly what is in there now 
this probably looks like why is she taking something like that that's really expensive what a silly cow but this is my Laura Mercier body and bath almond coconut milk souffle body cream now there's not very much left as you can see and I got this for um, myself over Christmas as a treat and I've used a lot of it and I, I feel so good when I put it on that I decided to save the last bit for after I've had a baby and I'm in hospital and I can put this all over my body and feel just better about myself i can have a shower um it's good to keep your body moisturized anyway because when you've given birth you can actually still get stretch marks so i have that and that's just a treat for me um and i really recommend putting in things that make you feel good about yourself because when you're given birth like you deserve a treat so that's the first thing that's in there then i have a pack of simple um kind of skin cleansing facial wipes i normally use my liz earl soft cloth cleanser but i'm not really in anticipating having a full face of makeup on at any point and i don't want to be rummaging around for that last minute because i use it every day so it's most likely that i'm just going to be taking these and just to quickly like clean my face and freshen up and i think i'll be all right for a day or two um then I have some hair ties. Sorry, this is in no particular order. These are just like the ones that I have on my wrist and they are a little bit better than your normal bobbles because they don't leave a kink in your hair. And just to have a set of these to hand is really useful because I hate having hair in my face when I'm in labour. I remember it from last time. And if I want to throw my hair up or neaten my hair up a little bit, then I have these to hand. Then... I just have a really treat cheap face cream actually it's just the boots essentials cucumber moisturizing cream looks like this i think it's about one pound 99 but my skin's really good while i'm pregnant um i'm sure that will change once she's here but this is just like you know to pop on my skin give it a bit of moisture whenever i need it then i have just i don't know why i have two i have two deodorants in here i'm probably going to pick one and just take one it will probably be this but i have a choice between the Dove Original or the Nivea um, Pearl and Beauty deodorant. I probably will take this one because I do quite like a spray because I like how fresh it makes you feel. Uh, those are just miniatures that I picked up from Boots. Then, if I don't need to, I'll avoid washing my hair just because, like, if I'm only in there for like less than a day, then there's no point I can do it at home. But I've got some Batiste dry shampoo, just a small one to freshen up if I need it. But if I do stay for whatever reason, then I have. Um, um, the Dove Advanced Hair Care Series and I've got the Oxygen Moisture Shampoo and the Dry Oil Non-Greasy Conditioner so that's just to freshen up if I need to like wash my hair, have a shower these will come in really handy and I can use them again at home when I get home can't I and then on, in the shower theme I've also got a Source uh, Lemon and Tea Tree Shower Gel I've got a nice fresh one because I know it's going to make me feel like refreshed and a bit more awake and I think that would be nice after labour hopefully then what else have I got in here I have a new toothbrush and a little sample of Colgate Match Fresh just because I, I got new ones because I don't want to be I don't want to forget that because I hate having like bleh, you know like a monkey breath i just don't want that so i have those and they're all in there ready to go on that same end i also have some extra chewing gum just if i ooh, need to freshen up at any point i have some hand sanitizer this is just a cute cure one I have my Jo Malone Blackberry and Bay Cologne. Again, this is something that makes me feel special, so I pop this in here ready to go. Um, it's a treat perfume of mine that makes me feel like a million dollars, so that's the one I'm taking with me. And then I also have my travel time roll teaser, so I can sort my mop out if I need to. And then finally, in terms of like skincare and whatever, I have some of these. Um, these are canis fresh feminine wipes and i'm quite down with talking about that because when you have obviously given birth you are quite sore down there and you don't really want to drag tissue paper over that area too much and you can clean yourself up with these and i've just got like three sample packs that i was sent a while ago so i pop those in and i think they'll be really useful and i like how small the packs are because they're dead discreet you can kind of like hide them in your hand and take them to the loo with you so that would be really useful and and good for freshening up and then in terms of makeup like I said I'm not really taking that much 
So I'll get these out for you now. So I am taking one concealer, not taking any foundation with me, and I've chosen the uh, Maybelline Instant Anti-Age, the Eraser Eye Concealer, this one. We all know this by now. It's nice and light, um, and it goes on really well under my eyes and like on any blemishes that I might have or just like coloration or things like that. And I just really rate this, so this is definitely coming with me. I have a eyebrow pencil, which is the Anastasia your brow definer um which has a spoolie on one end and then the pencil on the other just in case i want to tidy up my brows i doubt i will to be honest like this is all just in case to make me feel better but i don't feel too bad about going without makeup i've just given birth i don't expect to look like a movie star by any means um I do have a lip balm because your lips do get dry when you're using gas and air or just through the exertion of labour in general. Um, then I have my NYX Baked Blush. This is in 4Play. It's just a blush that I don't use as much but it would be nice for like spring, summer time. So I'm not going to miss it while it's in here for now. Then I have a mascara which is just the Maybelline Last Sensational one because I think it's brilliant and I have a highlighter because if I want anything it's probably going to be a glow <laughs> to be honest with you and this is the Mary Lou Luminizer I think it is um, well, I can't remember what it's called but I've got that and then I've just got a little brush that I can use for the highlighter and the blush as well so that is essentially everything that's in in my bag really now the only other things i'm going to take are snacks and things like that so i am going to take um some powerade like i did last time some bottled water and probably some cereal bars and then you know if we need food there's places that we can get it and you are given like tea and toast and stuff after birth so i'm not too panicked about that i'm also going to be taking ugh, if i can get it my phone and some headphones in case i want to listen to my hypnobirthing tracks while i'm in labor uh phone for obvious reason i'm taking this camera that you're on right now because I'm not decided on whether or not I want to film the birth or not because I don't want to put that pressure on Mark to capture things when it's his memories too. I want him to be fully involved as possible and not feel under pressure. So if he wants to film, then we have a camera. If not, then, you know, it's my birth and my memories will be enough. I'm also going to take my DSLR though because I would like to take some photos of that as a newborn. But we shall see. I might end up filming quite a lot. I might end up taking loads of pictures. Who knows? Um... And then I think other than that, it'll just be things like charges and things that you don't want to forget um, because your phone does lose battery, battery like crazy once you give them it. So yeah, that is everything. It is quite a long video and I apologise for that, but at least it's in detail and you know what I'm taking with me. So thank you so much for watching. If you think I've forgotten anything, please leave it in the comments down below and I can add it to my bag. There's still time. And I will be posting what's in her hospital bag shortly. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.